mostly Excel. And uh, I personally feel that I should improve upon my communication and use my energy well. So I thought of uh, connecting with following with the Toastmaster in the second day. And uh, I've been trying since last two days on this to join, but finally I'm here today. And I really like how punctually and how well the meeting is doing. Thank you. Thank you. So, sir has joined a uh, way back, and uh, now he's back again. Good morning. Hello, Toastmaster. My name is Neeraj Agarwal. I was a Toastmaster many, many years ago in Delhi, and somehow this is connected. I moved to Varodhana around five months ago. The first thing I did is look for Toastmaster's club. I attended one meeting in, uh, uh, I don't know the name of the day. Good, yes. And after that, it's getting into the groove of the new job and everything, so I won't be able to reconnect. Now I hope we join and be regular at the meetings because this is one thing you can do in Baroda. <laughs> Thank you. Now we have one member left and we go off with this. What can you do here? So we can start with the team and uh, can you see uh, the remaining team? No, 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 Actually, they are busy on the call, so hand of the meeting open. So the hand of the meeting is okay. So we will start uh, with the middle of wasting the time. We will start the TIT uh, GMO day today and then uh, after the meeting, we will go to the So I will invite uh, those master groups for today's uh, team to present. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. By looking at the temperature outside, uh, yeah, this is a good afternoon. <laughs> okay. So the one thing about one thing which I like about the summer, it was a it was the vacation which we got in the food camp. So <clears throat> the theme introduction is a summer vacation. If you there is a connection, a story of my summer vacation. But I'll try. So I'll share my story. How many secret things which I did in my summer vacation? Maybe some of the things which you can relate. So it might uh, take you to your memory lane. So okay, I feel the thing I did in my school. Okay. <laughs> so first of all, I want to ask you what summer activity you are currently missing in your life. I will ask you to ask. I always you know cricket means long cricket means. Madam, your summer time is what you are missing currently. To me, uh, last 28 years, I was teaching summer vacation was a very uh, energetic waiting for me because uh, that's a holiday and we enjoy with the family and cooking and so many things we are doing with the family. But now, every day is Sunday. Yes, sir. I'm missing a summer vacation. What exact activities are you doing? Only it's just a holiday, not going to work. No tension. <laughs> that is one thing you are missing. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Casually, casually, yeah. walking around, big type of. Yeah, let's be walking around, right? Cycling is one of the things we are missing. Yes, sir. So many things, but uh, stay in playing with cousins all the time, going out. Cousins are the backbone of the vacation. Also, going to school to play basketball in non school Ah, yeah. 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 Actually, nothing is planned. I mean, you can go for a yeah. 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 Nothing, nothing, nothing is planned. Yeah, it was so free. Yeah. Summer camp. Yeah, summer camp. Great. So, if God comes to me today and asks me, I will grant you one wish. I will, without a delay of even one millisecond, I will tell told him, uh, tell him that please bring back all those days which I enjoy in my summer vacation. 
So there are many stories of communication, and some of them, uh, some of them I, I don't want to share in the public platform because I did so many things. Or should I share? Okay. <laughs> I am going to be in the mood of sharing. <laughs> so this happened. It was around 2005. I went to my mama's home, Surat, and my cousin and the local friends were playing Chupasubi in the evening. Somehow I heard one of the girls. So somehow everyone gathered and arguing like we should say, say sorry to her. And the conclusion was, okay, I will go to her and I say sorry. Now, like a normal boy, I what was about the thing should I do? I will walk up to her and say sorry. Now, the crazy thing is, I walked up to her and I said, I love you. <laughs> it doesn't say like I'm sorry. I say I love you. It was back in 2006. I was around 12 or 13 years old. So the moment I realized what a blunder I made, I just run away and never go to back the stage to make possibly. <laughs> okay. So there are many stories. I will keep that aside now. And now I will uh, for the benefit of the guests, I will uh, explain the structure about those months of regular meeting. So our meeting is structured in the three parts. First is the prepared speeches, second is the table topic session, third is the presentation. In the uh, prepared speeches, uh, speaker will uh, give the speech on the selected pathway and later they get evaluated by the evaluator. In the uh, table topic session, it will be conducted by the table topic master. They will, the table topic master will ask uh, someone from the audience and give the uh, topic to him or her. And the speaker has to deliver a speech on one to two minutes. And the third part is the evaluation part where uh, everything from the speaker speeches, table topic to the whole meeting, it will, it will be evaluated by the evaluators. It will be taken by the general evaluator. Now, I will like to call our first point. I forgot the key players, which is a tag team. To conduct any Toastmaster meeting, the key players in the meeting are the tag, uh, tag team, which is a timer, a counter, and a grand array. Now, I will call them one by one to explain their role. First, I would like to call PM Vassal to extend their time alone. Please welcome him. Good morning, everyone. I'll be your time for today. Basically, in our life, we have to abide by the times and rules and our commitments. Because if we cannot commit to our timelines, our uh, commitments, then if we cannot respect our own commitments, then we will respect them. <laughs> In this case, uh, those masters also have uh, several timelines assigned to each species and evaluation. For prepared species, the uh, timeline is 5 to 7 minutes. So at 5 minutes, I will give you show this green card. At 3 minutes, I will show yellow card. And at 7 minutes, I will show red card. Uh, but those masters are he has 7 minutes, uh, 17 minutes uh, speed. So at the end of 15 minutes, I will show green card. At the end of 16 minutes, I will show yellow card. And at the end of 17 minutes again, I'll do red card. For evaluation, the time limit is 2 to 3 minutes. So at the end of 2 minutes, I'll do uh, green card. At the end of 2 and a half minutes, I'll do yellow card. And at the end of 3 minutes, I'll do red card. And for prepared, the table of speeches, the time limit is 1 to 2 minutes. So at the end of 1 minute, I'll do green card. At the end of 1 and a half, yellow card. And at the end of 2, red card. All the rest. In the same time, I will call uh, extend the middle. Now I will like to call uh, our founder PM Pixar. Please come in the middle for the other founder. Hello everyone. Um, good morning. Um, I am Pixar Pixar, and I am Cindy Bell Chapter Two for you. Basically, but uh, like I am from now. So this was my first appearance in front of all of you, and I guess because of the use of so many filler words, you all have already found an impression. So well, here I am today to keep a note of same of these things that we all as a team review those of those fillers and such. Thank you. Now I will uh, call our examiner and limit. Good 
Terraces are the big tall building. To have a tall building, what is crucial? Foundation. If your foundation is strong, then only you can build a long and tall tower. First, first, first part of the career is foundation building. We have to build our skill, knowledge, and capability so that we will become ambulance and finding our fit in our career. We can only connect the dots, dots looking backward. We cannot connect the dots looking forward. It was said by Steve Jobs in his commencement speech at Harvard University. When I look back to my career, there are two key challenges, like right? how to keep myself motivated, energetic to do my best. And second one is how I can keep myself above the politics. Politics is everywhere, politics at office, home, everywhere is politics. How I can isolate myself, how I can distinguish myself so that I will be not able to fall in the trap of politics. For that two realization I have. First one is work pyramid. Work pyramid. There are three levels in that pyramid. Quickly, I will draw you. This is the pyramid. Three level pyramid. This is known as work pyramid. The base level pyramid, base level of the pyramid is called achievement. What do you mean by achievement? Anybody, please help me to name some achievement. What it means when you are at job. Can you guess what it Great. Can you do on your KPIs and KRIs? Great. I mean, achievement is basically how much salary you have, what rewards you are getting, and you are always cry for achievement. I mean, always cry for cry for praise and uh, outstanding. How you can be in the circle of your boss, and for that, whatever is required, you are just putting your best effort into that. So this is known as achievement. Many people's careers, it has been researched that many people's careers have just fallen into this space of this work pyramid, that is achievement. And very few people go from this achievement level to the next level is mastery. What does it mean by mastery? You are master of your craft. If you feel something, that means you clearly understand that you, the work that has been done by you has been personal stuff. Personal staff of high quality, high integrity. If I did a job, that means that should, there should not be any defect. That is not master. You will be best at your trade in the world. And the other one is progress. Very, very few people reach to this level. They operate from purpose. When I feel myself, I realize that when I feel energetic or ambulant and super efficient, the time where I operate from purpose level. When I try to contribute back to something, contribute back to the problem that is going on, then at that time I feel my best. So that is proper level. So since then, I always try to find my why at work. Why I am doing what I am doing? Very simple question. When I repeatedly ask this question, why I am doing what I am doing, then the patterns will emerge. It has been emerging for me. There I find my fit. That yes, boss, this is what I need to do. And this is the reason I am wanting to do it. Now the next is how I can get rid of the politics. Is that imagine there are two people, A, and B. How I can cross this B person? The two way. You just cut it. Try to cut that person, or you can just improve yourself. Level. That means don't fall into the trap of politics. Don't try to pull somebody. Just try to upgrade yourself to a level that people will feel that I'm not gone very near by including himself. There are two realizations. 
and this is my finalized plan that I should always operate at upper and next to next mastery level because when I operate mastery so that I can help my colleagues to deal with their problem, engage them, and purpose is being efficient, being fulfilled at work. Because we spend close to 50% of our lifetime at work. Thank you very much. Now the floor is open for question and answer. Thank you. Yes, About performance quality achievement, so the key word that operates in your office is this is open crisis. And very often, crisis is something where quality will take a snap decision. It may not obviously right. And politics is something that you can't always get rid of. How, how, however much you will try, however much you will try to go. How do you deal with the situation? Thank you for this question. This is a great question. How do you deal with crisis? How crisis happen? I mean, crisis will come within your organization or a particular stage. When you are having a very good understanding about the crisis, and I all, if my purpose is to solve that organization, then I can achieve that crisis. Because I am firmly believe that there is no crisis in the world which is more than a purpose. If one person is purposeful, determined, we have seen it in 2020, March 22. That is, COVID. COVID is a global crisis. My hair stands on my stands on its end. Still, we we able to deliver. Still, we able to come out from this global crisis, and we are now gathering as a friends and family. So, from that perspective, I'm saying, sir, I will do the work that has to be done from purpose level so that I can able to manage and avoid from the press. Thank you. Next question. Yeah. How do we get rid of the politics? Like, no matter how better we try to become, you all know that you want to. There are some specific individuals that are always there, that are always being favored, no matter what. Like, studies being favored. No matter how much mystery grows, you won't be able to overcome this So, what do you do? Thank you very much. Do you believe uh, you will get what you deserve in life? How many people believe? Only one person believes. Many person believe. Thank you. I mean, the principle is you will get what you deserve. You will not get what you don't deserve. Politics is temporary. If you look from the lens of it, see what's your want. He wants the business to perform very well by socially responsible, environmental friendly, and make the profit going on. With these three things are less than three hundred thousand. People are searching for the right people by spending billions of dollars to just get a right people. If politics would have solved that purpose, then there won't be such funds like Deloitte is doing such farm, like Jeffrey is doing such farm, so this is not what I have to do. So my take on this is that, as I, as I showed you, the politics will induce in your mind that let that cut this person and I will go ahead of them. But my submission is to be done. Please, first understand that I will get what I deserve. That means I will definitely search at the end of my life. What I have did other than what I sold to be. So, to your question, politics is never going to solve in long term. It will solve in short term. Like, for example, I did some politics in this meeting, I won, but I did not win the same thing for the long term because people will judge you, people will smell you, people will feel your performance. So, don't fall into the trap of politics, just rise a little bit by understanding that I will care what I deserve, not necessarily now, but in the long run. 
Just one thing I want to know that there is always favoritism is prevailing in people. Many a time because of this, the skillful person is always neglected and sidelined by the higher authority. What do you think about? That is not quality, it is favoritism. Maybe because of some reason, because he knew him, or uh, maybe some other reason, people create some favorite attitude towards some person, and because of those persons, real hard working people are always denied by them. Thank you for this high quality question. In reality, favoritism cannot support this integrity. If I am high skilled, high qualified, if I lack the basics of how to deal with people, then I appreciate it. Because I need to be like a That does not mean I am the cost of my deserving, but at any cost, I should not go below myself to be favorable, but don't go to, don't do that. If you just keep doing the right things, then definitely sooner or later you will become favorable to that person. The reason because even the thief get annoyed and angry to the another thief. How dare you to store my money from my house? Is it? Is it? You have some one finger. The four fingers, three fingers are on the thief. But still that person, that thief is Trying to, justice, uh, trying to get justice, why that person stole the money from the thief? Right? That means principles are self evident There is no need of test to principles. Let me try it in another way, giving an another example. Law of gravity. When law of gravity don't work in the world? Any place? It's in the world. In the right but wherever you go in law, hanging on the ground, there is gravity. If Bill Gates and I go into the rooftop and both want to fall down, do you think without a parallel, he will Bill Gates will go up and I will go down? <laughs> because we are so principled given. This world was accurately as one of the responsibility of this. Because this world has been designed with some principles, not on anything. That means, if we are seen, that does not mean we should forget how to deal with people with sweet and smile and with respect to men. We should deal with people. We should not be arrogant at any time because that will definitely. I love to see and try to work. So that is my solution. But I think it is an hypothetical question. But in actuality, that will be. Do any, anyone have the courage to deny my fact? Favorable oh. is there and it kills the potentiality but, of the person. I would add to what I'm saying, actually. If you do favoritism, but happy with I'm in the field and he is. Favorable character, he's favorable to God. What generally happens is I'm denied the reward or even the kind of feedback that I need to remain accurate about my job. Right? Self doubt creeps in when you don't get feedback. I don't know if I'm only killed in my head. Right? That leads to demotivation, that leads to doubt of one's skill. And face it, you can't say that you are skilled just because you think you're skilled. It comes in feedback. So how do you deal with a situation like that where politics lack favoritism is something that is holding you down and your own level of skill or your own level of expertise, you start doubting yourself. Thank you. I mean, he just added to your question. I told you initially that failure are too long in 40 years. If you are truly skilled, and you are dealing with people in the right manner. Okay. That does, I am then sure that you will get the reward sooner or later. That does not mean you will get 
at the old time with the same situation. But things are moving. Boss will change. Situation might change. So the first thing is you have to look in long term. If you are short term, then you will fall into the trap of politics. Because to improve yourself takes time. Right? To improve yourself takes time. Whether it is skill level, whether it is behavioral level. You know, like Mark Manandi told that if some person slaps you, you just show the next next uh, uh, next uh, test the subject so that he will again slap you. That does not mean he or she can keep on slapping you because principle operates. But the thing is, you may have patience and perseverance to deal with that. Because a 40 year career cannot go on 10 years. A 40 year long career you cannot be in just 10 years. So have patience, keep faith in principle, and think scientific that business needs performance. Ever covering. And definitely, this has been proven since the eternity, and it will be proven till the eternity. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. First, thought provoking speech and the cycle on the Friday and on the Now, let's move forward to our next speech. In Vitanjali, before that, I'll call her evaluator, PM Kiritsa. Good morning, everybody. Warm welcome to Yester, whom I speak for a long time. Good. Uh, so, Mr. Gitanjali is going to present a level one project for you. And this is about the vocal variety and body language. She is already a master of these two traits, the old one. And uh, she is a very really excellent speaker, the old one. Thank you. Now, the purpose of the project is to enhance the speech value by appropriate use of words. And I am testing the word appropriate. And uh, also, give complimentary vocal variety. So that the message goes to very well. Unthinkable is the title of the speech, and uh, it is five and seven, five and seven project. So let's all wait and see what unthinkable is going to present. And I think it will also have you, young, uh, young postmasters, to really find the speech. So I will come to the time. Thank you. 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 Can teach a lesson to a 14 years old boy just with a very simple thing love we learn. Though it sounds unthinkable, but it is true. It is one of the greatest achievements of my professional life. This was the incident of 2013, that time. I was working at Bright School Fast Nine. Being a principal it was my duty to stand near the entrance lobby during the morning hours to keep the watch on school. One fine day, as I was doing my work, suddenly I saw a boy named Mani of nine grade was dragging a small boy named Logan of first grade, very violently holding his teeth. The small boy was crying, which is seeing that situation. I went hurriedly there to rescue the boy. I ordered money. Let him. He said, Madam, look at me. He just showed his back to me and said, Look what 
He has done to me. I saw there a small chunk of chewing gum was stuck there on the hip portion. When it was very angry, I just asked him, what made you made you so sure about Roa that he had only done this work? So he immediately answered me, oh, I have seen him chewing such type of tree. That it made me sure of him. Little when I looked at little Roha and he said, I don't know. Is it Till Rohan was crying, just to all their problems, I brought both of them in the car. I instructed my lady few to give him a pan from our school stuff and clean his pan very nice. Manish was boiling with anger. Thus I instructed him to go to the class after changing and I think the same during the last few years. By leaving my office, when he looked at Roman and he would keep little Roman was crying bitterly, you know, seeing the pretty able to keep him. I offered him a glass of water to leave his emotions calm and also tissue paper. He asked him very softly, What is the matter? He totally denied the fact by saying, No, but I don't know. But the truth was very important for me. To know the truth. I offered him a five-star chocolate. Being the principal, it was my benefit always having a chocolate from the students. Those who are celebrating their birthday. So I gave one chocolate to him. See the chocolate? A young boy. Repeat me the truth on condition that Please, madam, don't tell anything. Mm -hmm. In narrating that he and uh, Manish, they both of them were coming by the same van. So did Kai, the van driver, used to pick him up first and then afterwards. Manish was a terror to him. He used to beat him, punch him. Many times that young boy complained to Sudan Bhai, but Sudan Bhai never paid any this matter. So I, had, I, I became very annoyed and boy immediately Sudan Bhai. When he came inside, I gave him a book, told him, no, you can't even take care of the young students, so you are bringing that. And he said, Madam, I'm very sorry, my name is very. Rough and rude boy, he never understand. But my scolding work continued. He had cured Roman that now onwards, I will take And also, I also had cured Roman to give him assurance for his security and with this assurance, he went to the Class. During my last period, Manish came to my room for the pen and he asked me with a very good voice, Madam, had you given punishment to Rome or what is my I answered, I answered him without any strong proof and everything. How could I say that answer? I said, I came to you many things about you from Surekha that you often harass the young students. Do you know if I complain about this to the man? 
this made money into love. He paid sorry to me and promised me that had followed, I will not do such I made him understand with a very affectionate voice that what a senior student try to be a protector and speaker. Your little and affectionate attitude towards them will build their heart. Try to be a good student and change your behavior. He promised me that. As forward, madam, I will do my little best to change your heart. This incident was quite a great learning for money. He slowly changed his behavior. My little broker, his excessive attitude, seemed to create less of the money. My little Rohan knew that with strength, power, he cannot handle the situation. Thus, he used finger as a weapon to teach him. His excessive brain power was much more stronger and powerful than the physical strength of money. Dear friends, does it not sound unthinkable for you? <coughs> Thank you. It's time to move forward and hear our third speaker. P.M. Krish, before that, I will call him the evaluator, P.M. Sidek. Thank you, Toastmaster. Very good morning, Toastmaster. Dear Toastmaster. Very good. Today, uh, my focus speaker, Toastmaster Krish, is going to deliver his level one project to speech. The title of his speech is Believe. And achieve unlocking the power of religion. His pathway is engaging humor, and the purpose of his speech is writing a speech with a purpose. So I wish good luck to those my questions. Thank you. Good morning, hello, Postmaster and dear uh, My name is Chris, and you will find a second speech in Postmaster. My topic for today is my topic. You really have to speak unlocking. Have ever seen something cool? And for that, I want to do that. But uh, maybe it, it would be climbing a big rock of a mountain or a uh, uh, playing with the dolphin or doing something more and adventurous. Um, we all have dreams, but sometimes we are not able to achieve it. Today's secret in which our two things are dreams, in which our dreams come true, which uh, says that believing in yourself and having a plan to achieve. This picture. This picture completely shows a man standing on the mountain or the rock and thinking about his journey or success or, or thinking about his dream. It completely inspires us. Believing that we are believing in ourselves is like having a magical power. It's very hard to believe ourselves. We can believe. And everyone but believing ourselves and getting the confidence to perform any task or giving a speech in front of any members is a very hard job. Um, like many scientists, Mary Curie, 
and Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela who helped in gaining freedom because he believed in it. That's why he was he completed and believed his task and um, the did proper. He planned to before if you if you want to execute a task, you should have to be planned before so that you can believe of your he planned. Suppose if we wanna uh, climb a big rock. We first think that we can't do it. But it's like we a tiny voice coming from inside that you rock. You can climb the rock. Be confident. <laughs> For overcoming that fear of not climbing the rock or being not confident, there are the five steps or tricks we can follow to have a better business. And the first one is clear goal, having a precise mindset and clarity in our mind. The first, so that it can help us to stay away from the distraction and uh, go to our target in a better way. Second one is track it. We should always track our target and make it in a path point so that we can achieve step by step in a proper way. Third step would be noble thing, which refers to making it a challenge, not letting it and not giving up too early and making it possible. And not uh, trying to run. We should not try to run a whole race if we have not around us, if we have not run around the clock again. And we should also see that our goal fits our dream. Dream, dreams are goal and our dream are unfighting with each other in order to uh, better. And the last one is shining, achieve and shine. Third refers to staying awesome. The, the path to your dream and the climbing to your dream won't be very easy as we think. We would find many distractions and many rocks in between. So, um, for that journey, we have to, um, we have to stay confident, awesome. We have to motivate ourselves from the side. For that, we have to first do a happy talk with us every day. We should tell ourselves that I am awesome and I can do it properly. We should hang out with awesome body. We should uh, make friends that just uh, support our and act like a people you know. We should celebrate and every we should uh, make after achieving the goal. We should also ensure that we celebrate properly so as to get the proper motivation for the next target. Last would be plan and uh, the planning. When you reach a goal, even a small one, it's a smallest or bigger achievement in life. We should always be proud of us, which helps in keeping up our goal. Sharing our way also helps us in motivating us. At last, I would like to conclude that we can do anything that our mind wants us to, but just we have to keep faith in ourselves and go and take the step. We have to take the courage to take the step and then the sky is the way. Thank you. So I have to get you are taking the courage. Take a lot of courage to be stand here and be your feet. And I'm great that you are finding your feet on this stage and you will have a great uh, career ahead. Now it's time for a timer to share the timing report. This uh, game. So, uh, we tell me 30 seconds and over 50 minutes, 55 seconds. Postmaster Gimanji, 8 minutes, 53 seconds. And Postmaster Ray, 6 minutes and 2 seconds. So, Postmaster Aran and Postmaster Ray. If bad speakers holds uh, in the group, we can vote. 
Okay. So now let's move forward to our second uh, session, which is a toast table topic session that is previously conducted by our table topic master PM Kosa. Now, this is the opportunity for those who are not getting a chance to talk on the stage. You are, this is your time to find your feet on the stage. Now, all the stage is your PM Kosa. Very good morning to everybody. So, I am table topic master for today, and uh, I will call guests, some members on that. And there are some topics which I will be giving you. So, you have to speak for two minutes, and uh, let's see how everyone everyone is. Thank you. Um. Any guess you can do? Take your other option. Yeah. And then. <coughs> so. Can you see that you did in your summer vacation? If you are not to take the The safe one. That's fine. <laughs> So, how did you spend your vacation after 10th grade? If you could remember and speak about it. Summer vacation is always been a very easy time that you have time to actually go crazy. My father had a lot of hopes that you know, I would die and you do this and that. So obviously, he expected my summer vacation to go with wrestling holidays and you know, the man's team and you know, reading the books and all that. But like, I was an avid basketball player, so you know, I always used to go and play straight and all that. But that was just an outlet. You know, the practice is two hours, the next three hours will be spent around the Mali market, looking at the world. Going back to craving. 
But there are some occasions in Delhi, it's very, very happy prospect because it's very common, you know. And as a 10th grader, you can't afford to go and sit in there and eat coffee shops. And it's how it's so like to be coming in and eat. So, you know, you're like these pretty boys who just play basketball, your shirts are all wet and things like that, and you're looking at <laughs> so that's why I spent most of my summer vacation after 10th grade and then back then. And uh, I think uh, Zemansky is actually a good side book to get easily fit a commando comic inside as you actually read. So, and uh, subsequently, another activity that happened a lot during my summer vacation was my mother coming behind me and seeing me reading a comic book, sitting inside that. And my mom, mom was laughing. She preferred using her elbow. <laughs> So, yeah, so it was summer vacations were a mix of happy times and bad times. Happy times in the morning, <laughs> going out crazy with friends and you know, roaming around city and, you know, just doing things. Window shopping, of course, the uh, only thing that you could shop for was, you know, probably a copy here and there. And, uh, you know, like my father being, you know, an IIT and an engineer and all. I couldn't even tell him, look, I need so much money for this reason. I want to buy so much. You know, I need money for the book. You know, we just need the book. You know? So, yeah, so we were like, you know, starved kids, starved for money, uh, petty. And it was, it was a crazy time. But summer vacation had its own degree. In the evening, when you actually, you know, go out, hang out with friends, and you crave know, about how your mother is you out today. And what you did, and things like that. And you know, it would be very, very comforting to find out that I'm not the only kid who got beaten up. You know, this is a very, very comforting fact. You know, you get beaten up in my pocket. So, my summer vacations were after 10th grade, were basically spent playing a lot of basketball, trying to find girlfriends, which was not very successful, trying to track IIT, which was also not successful, trying to read comic books in my chemistry book, which was also not very successful. But yeah, my mom was very interesting. <laughs> but in general, I wouldn't trade anything for you know those days of summer vacation gym, because that is that had that had its own skill, you know, that had its own liberation. Like my speaker before me just suggested that you know, you know, I missed taking fun of teachers. But then summer vacation was summer vacations, a time for liberation, when time goes to office, listening to good music, belly. So that was about my summer vacation. Here, 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 So guests, here, thank you so much. It was a wonderful speech. And you were a too. Uh, okay. So next, another guest. So, hello again, very good work. My name is Jayan. And uh, it's really, uh, I don't know, it's surprising to be here because I've never seen the side my school ever. Uh, and uh, I've, been, uh, I've been an engineer and I'm working in a company. So, coming to this topic, my favorite part of that. Like being a kid, I've always been a little imaginative. Now that there is a new new cartoon, so I have a list of them. I couldn't find right now one, but if I have to choose one, I'll simply go with Sinchan. <laughs> That's a very quirky cartoon, I would say. And uh, uh, for the reason that I've always found myself aligned to him. That I've always annoyed my mom, and my mom's a little frugal, to be honest, just like his mom. Uh, that she never allowed me to, um, she never allowed me to go to use, uh, like, just like you said, window shopping. That never happened in my life at all. And particularly, Shin Chen, um, one thing that I like about him is that he has never to go in his life. If you've been through He's the series of Shin Chan. He's always been a five year old kid. And even if he's having his little sister, but he's still a five year old kid. 
And I also am like a, by heart, I'm a five-year-old kid. I get no seriousness in my life, even though I'm, I'm a responsible employer at LND, but I don't consider myself responsible enough. <laughs> So next, we yeah. yeah. have yeah. So, currently, how are you managing your summer day? Currently, I'm managing my summer days by time in college because our college is still on. All the other departments of MSC were shut down, but apparently, they want to keep the commerce department open. Um, it's very hot, actually, it's very, very hot. And I have to always get the car, so I have to sometimes go to the studio, sometimes on the car. And the car barely comes to me because at my house, it's just me and my mom, so we only have one car, the other car is there. So it's very difficult to get a car and it's very hot and the college does not switch on the air conditioner. We, we have ourselves actually found where the MCB of the air conditioner is to go and switch it on every day because the janitors never switch it on. And first it happens to be the only year which is going on. Second and third year is not there. So the janitors don't even care to show up to the college. Because the kids are the only people. And the teachers sometimes they show up because they also know the kids don't want to study. And uh, but I do have a trip coming up, so that is how I'm managing my summer. But other than that, my summer is just crammed with studies because I have my final exams coming up. Studies and I have my CAT preparation going on at Postmasters and I have part of the NGO to go to that as well. And I have to finish a lot. I have a lot of things going on regarding my education and my extra curriculum because I don't really have time for anything to do it. Hey, wonderful speakers. Now I would uh, turn this to you. Anyone you want to Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for time and report for the speaker for the topic session. Same work, sir. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> Sundush, 0 minute 58 seconds. Yes, Nidhar, 3 minute 38 seconds. Yes, Jairam, 1 minute 49 seconds. So far, sir, yeah, 1 minute 18 seconds. So, everyone, sir, yes, Nidhar, this is correct. Thank you, sir. I'm going to move forward to our third session, which is the evaluation session. It should be conducted by our general evaluator at the ASAP. Please welcome the end. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Coach Masoudi. Well, it is almost like a noon now, but since it's an autumn, it's time for breakfast. Why breakfast? Because we like the breakfast for the time. <laughs> so, we will. Uh, the beauty of the Toastmaster is when you perform on the stage, you get a chance to become speaker. But also, Toastmaster have a facility that you get a feedback, what you have done, what could be done better. So that's why the third session is all related to the feedbacks. And I will start my session with the prepared speakers graduate. For that purpose, I will call and say one by one, each speaker, uh, you will speak. For the first speaker, Toastmaster Ananda, I will call on stage Toastmaster Yesha to keep an insight on the table. Once again, a very good morning and good part for my speaker. My values will be divided into two parts. The first one is for the presentation he gave for five to seven minutes, and second one is the two minutes. Starting with the first part, he started with a quick. This was a very good engagement with the audience and all answered very well. Then you had a good smile and eye contact. It defined you found your fate on the stage. Really? A confident speaker. Good structure with the initial step, the purpose, the foundation, very well narrated. Use the stage well while you were telling the four best jobs. If you took a walk from here to here. Use the board for explanation. It was very good gesture. 
but the recommendation would be you could use the availability of the rejection because we have been 15 years seeing the same thing, someone writing on the board. So it would connect the audience more when you use a PP. Initially, you had a bit low energy and you acquired the center stage more while you were giving your presentation. You use the example of 10, 30, 40 times with the same hinges. You could use 10, 40, 10, 30, or by using up and down moves, it could relate that this is a large quantity, this is a minor quantity. You spend a bit more time at some places like this place. You had nearly two to three minutes, you were standing here and giving the presentation, which could be improved by taking a small box and right? completing the sentence. All information was good, it was very structured, but the suggestion would be a story. You mentioned about politics. You could mention a story where politics has affected, which would give a more connection to the audience. Now the second part, even a session. Again, he rose his energy to an extreme. The first question was how to deal with it. What a great experience. He gave the reason and explained with a best signal, which was COVID-19, which we all could narrate, relate, and could imagine ourselves in that in that way. A very good example of Bill Gates and yourself creating a hypothetical situation and making the audience imagine that, yeah, this is happening and we have to imagine. A good energy throughout the session and attention to the question, and you also gave the reason that why you're supporting. Again, the session would eye contact to the whole audience. When you are answering someone, it's good to make an eye contact with them, taking the Using the eye pages as well, but also giving the connection of the whole room, which would give a good energy. And a conclusion at the end of your answer would give it a good taste. So we could also get that whole answer summarized. This was all from my side, and over to you, Mr. Nibel. Thank you, Dostmaster Yatra, for the wonderful evaluation. Dostmaster Yatra is like uh, all around. You can think of any role in Exactly. Now, moving on for the second, uh, for the second speaker, Dostmaster Yatra, for her evaluation, having all on the same, Dostmaster Yatra. Thank you, Dostmaster Yatra. Good morning, Phil. And one line for the evaluation of the strategy is one of the finest I was. Coming back to Dostan the Gitarist speech, and as you know, she opened with a prop, and she also had a little polite of me. There are two ways of the beginning a speech. You can be very aggressive and you turn the audience to the side. So she was very polite. So we are both implicitly what you feel like that. Prop Chingam just made our industry more. Then she created an interesting story. Now, this is to read this story. It's a very simple story. I mean, if you read, you won't even uh, read it for two days because you know what's going on. But she created the interest in a very, very simple story. In a way, the body language can do that. The words have no meaning in this story because we everybody knew. Body language, dialogue she created, created the interest in the real life, real life situation. We all know how wrong would be. We all know how the you know, driver would be. You know how money should be. We could visualize our mind. Then the impact is created just by narration. <laughs> along with Google variety. This is a story in which the psychology plays a main part. We never do anything. Whenever we have conflict in the family, in the school, or with the friends, we always look at one side. We never do psychology to behavior. I think what you're trying to pictureize for us was we need to go beyond the fact. Why is it we never do it? We always have family. Problem, brother, sister, I was going to my sister. So I know the conflict could happen. How you look at it, that was the story all about. So use of poses and the volume of white is to use beautiful Manish, aggressive Manish, the drawn, the TV drawn, the tourist, the tourist driver, the tourist principal. So all these things combined created a fact of story which stayed in our mind all the time. Now, message at the end was so very, very stark. Message to money by a principal, telling that you have to behave yourself. Money change. Of course, the change is a bit abrupt. 
but she has no time to elaborate further how the needs change. But she connected the kingdom beginning and end. So how kingdom of God changes in the other In the life also, we have to do that. Now, I can only say one implement because it has been a very versatile speaker, a very ugly anything to add. So the message could have been emphasized in this book. Generalize this kingdom with some scales. The kingdom is one example for how we should be. I would, I would rather say that usually in life, in life, our parents, our bosses, our friends sometimes use some sort of kingdom to irritate us, not to irritate us, but to get messages to us. That sort of line would have been a message to us. So the bosses, delivery, and the uh, use of uh, volume which they use, and the old young Tosma, including me, to be biased. That is where the high contact body language is all. I wish all the best of us. Thank you. And how to speak and the truth of the word. Thank you, Lord. Now, moving on to the third speaker, Toastmaster Greg, for that 14, I will call on the stage Toastmaster Greg to be a new one. Thank you, Toastmaster Greg. Toastmaster Greg. He reminded me of a very wonderful quote. Between great planning and great success lies execution. That's the key. And the way in which he delivered the message, his purpose of his speech was to write the speech with a purpose. It was very much evident that preparing for this speech, what went, went into his mind, what went into his head, that there is a purpose which he needs to give. I respect Postmaster Krishna's preparation for this. Preparation not only from the delivery of whatever he has prepared by vocal variety or by word that he used, but also the help that he has taken in terms of using the projector, the slide, and to Sincerity to put the right message, he carried notes with himself, which helped him a lot at the time of putting all the activities, the stage wise planning of how you need to believe in the thing. Like, for example, he talked about it is hard to believe ourselves, but it is easy to believe others. Very nice to deliver that message. And at the same time, broken down the chain of activities from first you need to plan, then you need to put focus on execution, and then at the same time also celebrate your wins with your friend so that you know get more motivated to achieve your task. So message very well delivered, Toastmaster Cricket. Kudos to you on that. Again, when it comes to delivering your level one project to speech, if you target coming with less preparation or by way of using one or the other story only without having prepared uh, properly on each of the element, then you will find that difficulty on the stage, which he fairly managed and could not find so much difficult to complete his speech well in time. Now, few suggestions for which you will be able to your speech to the next level. When the message is clear without any kind of ambiguity or any kind of suspense, sometimes it is advisable to end the speech with the title rather than explaining the title again when you are delivering the speech. Second and important part is what we have seen today, wonderful examples of use of body language and the stage. If you are delivering message one and you move one to five points are highlighting and move from one, two, three, four, five, you will deliver it bang one. And lastly, the challenge, I would like you to challenge on using keywords and notes rather than a long printout for the message that you need. That's all. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
That's all from my side. Thank you very much. As we all know, the first session was a prepared speaker, and followed by the second session was a table topic speaker. For that, I will call on stage a table topic evaluator. Before calling the table topic evaluator, I will call on stage to sponsor the first person. Give one. <laughs> Thank you, Toastmaster Vassal. Now it is time to call on stage the table of the revolution, Toastmaster Nero. He is yes. on next. He is on next. Toastmaster Nero. Toastmaster Nero. Can we have him on the first stage? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so I'll uh, first, I'll start with uh, uh, acknowledging and appreciating the table topics which the table topic master gave. So all the topics were uh, properly, uh, uh, like, well thought of. And uh, I would say that in sync, in line with uh, the theme of the day. So that was the one of the amazing part about uh, today's table topic session. Coming to table topic speakers, all the four uh, speakers did uh, really uh, well about it. And uh, it, it takes a lot of courage uh, for guests to come on stage for the first time and uh, give an impromptu speech. So kudos to all the four speakers uh, for coming up on stage and uh, delivering their uh, table topics. So uh, that's a great part. So one recommendation that I would uh, like to give to uh, the table topic speakers would be that utilization of time in table topic uh, or impromptu speech. Uh, one uh, one thing that uh, one key thing that we learn is about utilization of time. So we get uh, one to two minutes to speak about a topic impromptu topic. So uh, it's best that uh, we util uh, like we uh, utilize that time adequately and uh, deliver a speech uh, between one and a half to two minutes. Max uh, utilize maximum time and uh, like deliver uh, our uh, thoughts. Uh, coming to uh, individual uh, speakers, uh, we I'll start to, uh, like they had uh, personal like uh, I was so able to personally connect uh, with each one uh, of uh, them, uh, starting with uh, Raj mentioning about uh, uh, like uh, video games and uh, getting beaten up by our, uh, mo uh, his mom uh, in summer vacations. So that reminded me of my childhood memories of summer vacation. That was uh, like, I uh, likewise, uh, other audience also would have been able to relate to it. So that was amazing part about uh, Raj's uh, speech. Coming to Neeraj, uh, he took us to a journey of uh, summers of Delhi during uh, as a 10th grade stu uh, student. So that was also very well uh, articulated, uh, talking about uh, heats of Delhi, basketball, and uh, comic books. So uh, that was a very good part, which uh, I was able to relate to. Coming to Jainam's speech, uh, shop, shopping uh, during the summers and uh, being a responsible employee of an organization was also uh, very much relatable for me as well as other audience, I believe. Uh, co coming about uh, uh, Reha's uh, table topic uh, speech, uh, may, uh, like may, may how does she manage uh, summer days? So that uh, speaks about uh, going to college when others are on vacation is a task in itself. Uh, but uh, when it comes to, uh, it reminded me that when it comes to professional life, uh, we'll have to do it every year after uh, our uh, school finishes. So there are no summer vacations for uh, professionals. So that was also a, uh, a very good delivery. And uh, she also talked about uh, uh, the rising temperatures and how even the air conditioners are not able to take the loads of uh, these summer uh, heat. So that was a fantastic part. All in all, uh, it was a great session today. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Thank you so much. Uh, 
over to general evaluation. You know, for the wonderful evaluation. As you all know, I forgot to call on the time after the evaluation speech. I didn't you know that I also forgot to call on to give a vote. So the evaluation votes are on the way. Yes, so so you know what it is. Thank you. Now this was all the evaluation related to the speaker who have taken the vote. But now onward, it is type of evaluation that the overall meeting is different. Now onward, I will call on stage. And half counter and Jamaican to give you some feedback how the all the meeting state person had its role depending on the role. Okay, so I will call on stage today's half counter, Toastmaster. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Good morning. So, good morning, everyone. Again, the God being the heart counter. Uh, I am using a lot of words, I am having difficulty with evaluating other people's work as of now. But for the first time, I have a few inputs that I have. Uh, for those months, D and Ananda, uh, there were a few fillers in the first two to three lines of sentences, but after that, it went all good. No fillers at all. For D and Vitandri, ma'am. Uh, had some no fillers, no no pressures, no fillers. <laughs> a lot of fillers, a uh, bit tense crutch words, but that could be improved. Uh, like as you you know, that was a lot of things that went on during this. And the next person I'm calling on stage had taken the very interesting role. It is called a Jamaican. It took me one and five, one and a half years to take this role. Because <laughs> today, this person came first time as a Toastmaster and taking up this role. So, very well for me. So, but it's like on the same line when I uh, came in first or second session. So, then I was like saying that this goal should not be given to me for it. It will take some time. I think yesterday, uh, that I just forget the. Yeah. 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 Since then, I mean, that's like part of our team member to put the memory in uncomfortable zone. Yeah. But it really uh, that hit me that particular line at the. Uh, on, on that basis, like we are having the free in this particular ground. So, um, uh, just I apologize because I missed that one particular part. Like when people were using the word of the day or uh, phrase of the day, like we should raise the thumbs. Like few people, they're not, they did, but maybe the guest, I, I missed that part on my side. But, uh, JM Ananda, you have used the uh, word of the day three times. And TM Kosha, you also use word of the day two times. About the uh, phrase of the day, TM Ananda, you have used uh, two times, and uh, you have used uh, uh, two times phrase of the day. About, uh, uh, there are like many uh, good words uh, that mean two words I was able to catch, and two words maybe I am missing. So TM Ananda used that word uh, perseverance very well. Uh, and Chris, uh, you have know, used like climbing a rock, and the uh, um, guest people you have used like word uh, the heads off, uh, head off. I mean, it's like if I correct, uh, understood correctly, it's been like we are running out of the ideas. Correct? Uh, I need to Google it. I like, what what is it? Uh, guest J, uh, frugal, which means like the mother is like under which we will spend the money. Uh, like that, that's so. Um, that's like new word for me. Uh, um, uh, TM Christian, you are using my word, which is like totally uh, new to me, and I just need to figure it out. What that so that's it from my side about the like English language. Uh, if we uh, like, I watch so many uh, maybe Western TV series to upgrade my English language. Then like from uh, up to twelve, I studied in Hindi. Um, so from there to here, I try to work on that English. 
So if you like see the normal people, like when people are like speaking in the Western culture, their English is not up to mark if you compare or Indian people who are like, they, they are really in all the technical part, they are like way ahead of uh, the Western people. That's the reason there are so many CEOs are from the Indian. <laughs> so that's one of the reasons. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, it is time for my report. As a G, I will uh, give my evaluation on how the meeting will con have conducted and how we can improve it. Okay. So, first of all, I I have told this to everyone that I came after a like, long time to the process. And due to that reason, I have forgot something about the role playing as a GM for the body kind of thing. So first thing first, the meeting started on that. That is sharp tech thirty. The staff was most of the head of the two startup and called uh, and did this our Toastmaster Arka. <laughs> and thing I seen after a long time that the QR code was spread across the, all the guests so they can also continue doing the whole session. That was a good thing which was where uh, multiple times have introduced in the evaluation session that today we have done it. And the one more thing I found out that today the presiding officer had took the had taken the role for the table topic master. But as soon as he came on the venue that he found that the Toastman Sports are having to have a role, then he offered to take up the role. So he can improve that, he can improve her uh, stage presence and everything. And kudos to Toastmaster Kosha that she took the role on One thing I also want to mention is that whenever you give a, do a change on the agenda, you do mention it during the starting. Now, uh, I enjoyed meeting a lot because I am getting slightly nostalgic because there has been some time, but the meeting connected very well. Although I found out that presence in a meeting is decreasing or compared to low than our regular. I believe that might be the thing we had today. <laughs> Many of the other I believe. But I found out there are some areas of improvement that we can work on. Like whenever you take a role, try to come early. Because as you see in the agenda, agenda started at 10 15, not at 10. But if you have taken the role, the at least come 15 before minutes before the meeting starts. Then I have I personally believe that when you call someone on the stage, instead of saying the DM. Say toastmaster. It is very formal to call someone because many guests might don't know what DM is. Okay, it is the better practice when you start to say a name, the toastmaster. It automatically came uh, next time came the same name. But when you continuously say DM, DM, you it is harder to switch when you are from getting used to to something. And I this is. So for everyone that whenever you come on a stage or leave on a stage, shake hand when the stage switches over. It is like an indication that the next person will take on the stage now on. And I found out in the agenda that the VP membership number is still Toastmaster Nichols, not the Toastmaster Ananda. So that needs to be changed as a VP membership. And one last thing that whenever you speak, uh, use the board and when your uh, speech or presentation is finished, do erase what you have already. It might be respect to someone or the second person who came on the stage and wanted to use the board, he had to first erase what he wanted. So that might be time penalty for that person. So that is the thing which I found so far. And overall, I enjoyed the meeting. And Learned a lot. Thank you for. So now, anyone take those master of this, our thing will be done. Thank you.
uh, you have to say your name and then I uh, finish all the procedure and in the last you have to say I do not. I as a member of Toastmaster International and my club promise to attend meetings regularly. Prepare all, uh, all of my speeches and leadership assignments to the base of my ability, basing them on projects in the Toastmaster manuals. Prepare for and fulfill meetings, uh, meeting assignments. Provide fellow members with helpful constructive evaluation. Help the club maintain the positive, friendly environment necessary for all members to learn and grow. Serve my club officer. Serve my club as an officer when called upon to do so. Treat my fellow club members and our guests with respect and courtesy. Bring guests to uh, uh, bring guests to club meetings so they can see the benefit uh, Toastmaster membership offers. Adhere to the guidelines and rules of Toastmaster educational and recognition program. Maintain honest and highly ethical standards during the conduct of all all Toastmaster activities. Thank you. Now, now uh, it's a place for all the members. So we, we uh, the members of Vodafone Toastmaster Club, promise to support you in your quest for self development. Provide you with positive, helpful evaluation. Provide you with Maintain a friendly, supportive atmosphere. Give you opportunities to help others. And make your Toastmaster membership a rewarding and fulfilling experience. Make your Thank you so much. And the Toastmaster that you have become a member of all the Thank you. This can take 30 seconds. So, like, uh, I started so then I was like giving the word myself. So, after like competitive session, like every time going to this every street and I'm meeting one, like, one of my favorite meetings, like, so I got two days and I don't need to visit that. <laughs> So now for the group of it, uh, I would like to invite Toastmaster Riga on three tiers. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Toastmaster. I'm sorry, I'm going to go to the meeting and I will call the So the book of the week is Move My Chief by Dr. Spencer Johnson. It was published in 1998. It's a short book of 94 pages. But I think about 100 pages, it gives us almost a lifetime of lessons that can be changed forever. This book is basically a self help book, which is actually connected to management, students, and personnel. Uh, it is a book which is very much recommended for management students, who mostly see MBA people and HR people reading this book, recommending this book. It is a book on how changes always occur in our life and how we adapt to those things. This book showed that when changes occur, we see three types of people. One, who quickly adapt to it and move with the change. One, who initially resist the change and do not want to face the fact, but then gradually with time they accept it and they try to change with the change. And third, the people who take ignorance of very, very perfect place and they never want to change. So this book basically highlights the fact that change is inevitable, it's to occur. We are to adapt to the change. We are to anticipate the change. And most importantly, we are to enjoy that change. And then fourth is that we have to anticipate that this change will occur again in our life and we have to receive this book by the uh, this, this, this book is a must to read knowing that we live in a very ever changing world. I uh, again say thanks to Nirav Solanki, who is our uh, area director, for, his, uh, for joining the meeting and uh, taking up the role. Thank you so much. If you want to say something, the uh, room is open for you. Are you there, Nirav? 
या सो थैंक यू रवि जानकी एंड द एंटायर वडोदरा रोस मास्टर्स क्लब टीम फॉर अलाउिंग मी टू जॉइन ऑनलाइन एंड ऑल्सो गिविंग मी द ऑपॉर्चुनिटी टू टेक द टेक अप द रोल ऑफ अ टेबल टॉपिक इवेल्युएटर सो इट वाज माय प्लेजर अटेंडिंग द मीटिंग एंड सर्विंग एज अ रोल प्लेयर टुडे सो थैंक यू सो मच एवरीवन फॉर द वंडरफुल ऑपॉर्चुनिटी थैंक यू थैंक यू Now we have one guest who will join us later on the meeting. So I would like to invite you to introduce yourself. And uh, as we are at the end of the meeting, you can also say uh, the feedback of the meeting, uh, what you like, what you did not like. So hello everyone, my name is Jaynam Jha. Excuse me, wrong. My name is written in the pink character. My name is Jaynam. Yes. So it was a very interactive session to me. And, uh, I was not hoping that uh, I'll get so many new words <laughs> in my first <laughs> And uh, as a feedback, I would say that uh, uh, same. Actually, it was a really interactive session, and uh, I'm really hoping to join uh, this club. Uh, thank you so much. Any other guests would like to uh, provide feedback or self feedback? They can always. Anyone? Think so. Okay. Very simple. So, by continuing my uh, presenting speech, I have one my personal story in which the bad circumstances, uh, so the uh, moral of the story, whatever happens, happens for a good. So, I dropped out my college degree in sixth time from DDIT. At that time, only my parents were criticizing me for to buy lab. At the just uh, you, you just have the one year to go. Why left now? I was so frustrated from this studies. I had my uh, a back of my mind that I am strong at my technical. I will somehow crack my uh, career. I joined one company. I did not uh, tell my parents that I have gone for the interview and I have joined over there. I came at home. I tell my parents that I have. Uh, in the, I have practiced it and I have learned over that. I don't feel like that I I want to study anything. My parents supported me and uh, they agreed on that. That company did not work out for me and I left that company uh, just after six months. After six months, I joined to one startup, uh, which currently I'm working on. Uh, so today, uh, I, I have been working uh, from six and a half years, and it was a wonderful journey. From well to now, I have gained a lot of knowledge, and I have uh, contributed my knowledge to that company. Now, as a startup, it comes with lots of benefits, and I could not think that I will become a shareholder of any company. So now I am, and uh, it's a one of benefit, or you can say that it's. A good thing that I when I think back, so I could not if I have continued the degree, maybe I could I could not be at this stage. But uh, I left the degree, I joined, I pursue my passion, and uh, then now whatever happened with me happened for a good. So think about that. Whatever bad happens, sorry, maybe it have a positive outcome in the long term. So. With that message, I would like to conclude this meeting. We are finishing 10 minutes earlier. Maybe we will, uh, we will have a more uh, networking time after it. So, any of you will have to get? Yes, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we left. Yeah, we, we still have time uh, for the award ceremony. But still, uh, the certificate is ready. <coughs> So for the award ceremony, I would like to invite our Toastmaster of the day. So for the best prepared speaker, goes to Toastmaster Anand.
the base table topic speaker goes to base Jaina. Based evaluator goes to Toastmaster Yatra. Based role player goes to Toastmaster Pradesh. And the best supporting role player goes to Toastmaster Buster. Now with this, I will attend this meeting and after it, after it we will uh, join for the group. Thank you.